right, Darren Dollum will never forget, I'm sure. Miss Arkansas 2019 joining us in studio this morning to talk about that night, her platform, and the future. Good morning to you Good and morning. congratulations. Thank you so much. What's it like to watch that back? I saw you smile and just. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I'm, I'm smiling because it's kind of, um, I don't really remember that yeah. moment, I don't think very much. Um, I do, but it was, everything was going so quickly and it was so chaotic. Mm -hmm. um, so being able to watch it from this side is kind of um, a refresher yeah. because who knows what I act, what actually was happening in that moment. It was kind of funny because you could see the shock on your face and then you were yeah. absorbing it and then you, oh my gosh, I won. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it definitely was um, a, a shock because, you know, yeah. I've competed in the organization for five years. Yeah. And obviously Miss Arkansas has been a dream and mm -hmm. it's something I really wanted to achieve. But it's something that's so big that mm -hmm. you kind of think, I would love that, but it's probably never going right. to happen. And was this your last year that you were planning to compete? This was going to be my last year, and I almost didn't come back because uh -huh. last year I came for my fourth year. I got second runner-up, which mm -hmm. I was absolutely thrilled with because sure. I started this organization for the scholarship money. Um, and I was like, you know, I'm planning, I'm going to graduate next year. And if I haven't won by my fourth time, I'm probably just not going to win. <laughs> um, and I just decided this last year as I was a senior in college mm -hmm. and I thought, I, you know, I'll just do it one more time. Yeah. And if I don't win, whatever, it's not meant to be. Well, good thing and you did it. I, yeah, it's a great <laughs> thing that I decided to come back, I guess. Yeah. You um, you just graduated from the University of Arkansas. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Thank you. And so what are you planning to study? So I uh, graduated with a Bachelor of Science mm -hmm. in Animal Science. I originally was going to be a veterinarian. Mm -hmm. um, but when I started getting involved in the organization, we're partnered with Arkansas Children's Hospital and Children's Miracle Network. Mm -hmm. um, and so I really started getting close to several of the Arkansas Children's Hospital ambassadors, specifically a little boy named Jace, who is a cardiologist patient at Arkansas Aww. Children's um, and I really just started feeling myself be pulled into pediatrics um, so I, I switched I decided that I was going to go to medical school and so um, after my gap year as Miss Arkansas which isn't really going to be a gap year because right. it's going to be filled with a lot, of, <laughs> a lot of travels and really busy I, I plan to go to medical school. Oh that is so exciting and I have to point out um, I admire you so much not for just being on stage and doing all this but your platform um, a very personal cause for me and also for our station here at THB 11. Mm -hmm. So tell a little uh, people about your platform. Yeah, so my platform is called Know Who You Are. Um, and what I work on is teaching people goal setting, um, knowing who you are, knowing your self-worth, mm -hmm. because the addiction rates in Arkansas are so high, especially when it comes to opioids and alcohol mm -hmm. when it comes to teenagers. Um, and, and most people think it's a character trait or it's genetic, but it's really not. And a mm -hmm. lot of times what ends up happening is, you know, high schoolers, they feel peer pressure because sure. everyone's doing it and they don't want to feel left out. Um, and they really feel like, well, what's the worst that could happen? It's not like it's going to affect my future. Um, so if I can really teach people that it, it really can mm -hmm. and that you have a future and your future should be protected and, and that's why you shouldn't abuse these substances or use them at all, mm -hmm. um, then I've done my job. Well, Darren, we are just so proud of you oh, to have you, you representing our state as Miss Arkansas. And now we gear up for the Miss America pat uh, competition. Yeah. yeah, and that's another thing that's kind of a little bit shocking because I've the first thing I have, um, I've gotten several really close friends from this organization. Mm -hmm. Organization. And one of them, um, her name is Kyla, she ran up to me afterward and she goes, you're going to Miss America. And I, <laughs> I know the word out of my mouth was, what? Yeah, what? <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Well, there's a statistic that, uh -huh. you know, I've heard ever since I started competing. It is more likely for you to have a son compete in the Super Bowl than you are to have a daughter on the Miss America stage. Wow. So my okay. parents are Your really Your parents lucky. are very proud. We yeah. should buy lottery tickets, I guess. <laughs> yes, she should. Yes, she should. <laughs> well, we wish you all the best, and we are so happy that you well, are representing you. our state this year. Thank you so much, thank Darren so Dahl of Miss Arkansas 2019. We are back right after this.